Hello wonderful people, it's the Youth Arena Show again and you're very much welcome to this episode of the show. I'm excited to share with you again the love of God and knowing that you're on the other end of the screen brings me great joy and pleasure. I remain your host Sanctified Aqua and today we're going to be discussing the core of our assignment as Christians, the Great Commission, which is so winning. Here with me is a seasoned prophet of God, the General Overseer of Citadel of Christ Redeemer Ministry, Jukwe Abuja. He is Prophet Kayode Olariwaju. Thank you so much for coming. God bless you. Thank you very much, ma. Yes. God, God bless you too. Thank you so Happy much for coming. Happy to be here, ma. Yes. So just as we, as we discussed, we want to talk about soul winning. And for me, it's the most important aspect of our Christianity. Yes. So what is soul winning? <sighs> Thank you very much for this question. What is soul winning? Mm. Before I will say anything here, mm. I will allow the Bible to tell us first what okay. is soul winning okay. by Open my Bible okay. to the book of Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20, okay. which says, Jesus come and told his disciple, okay. I have been given all authority in heaven and on earth, 19. Mm. Therefore, go and make disciple of make disciple of all the nations, Mm. Baptize them in the name of the Father mm. and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Teach this new disciple to obey all the command I have given you and be sure of. This I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Back to your question. You know, this question you asked me is the assignment that Jesus Christ gave to us. Yeah to do, yes. to go into the world, preach, mm. bring sinner back to him. Because mm. his major assignment on this earth is mm. to come to this earth and save people. Yes. That's why he decided to die for us, yes. to show us a good example, yes. so that he helped us to know the good way and the bad way. Yeah. And he will make us to know that so is more important yes. to Jesus Christ. Than any other than thing. Any other thing. Yes. So that is why is we Christian pastors, evangelists, and everything, our major work is to go out to the world yes. and bring soul. That's what we've been called to. Called that is what we call it. To the ministry of soul. Yes. That's Thank beautiful. You. Okay, so uh, soul winning, evangelism, and discipleship, are they the same thing? Or what are their differences? Yeah. Thank you very much, Ma, for this question. Okay. Soul winning disciples and then evangelism. evangelism yeah. you no, know, I will just start to it in one thing. So winning disciples and evangelism still lying on human being. Yes. It's human being is going to do all those things. Yeah. You still I will still go back to the first question you asked me. Mm. That so winning. Mm. The importance let me tell you something. You know, when we say so winning, disciple and mm. evangelism. Yes. Mm, it's still assignment that God gives to us. Yes. But today mm. we are not doing it. Mm. We have changed it Totally. Yes. We have deviated away from what Jesus Christ tells us to do. Mm. You know, what he said here, go out to the world. And preach. And preach. And make disciples. Disciple. Okay. He tells us, make disciple, yes. isn't it? What are we doing today? We are not making disciples oh, today. True. Very true. What we are doing today, we have church. Mm. We gather them. Yes. Preach the word of God yes. to them dear. Yes. We did not give them power mm. to go out and preach. And no. We believe them, packing them in the church, yes. preach to them every, every Sunday. Mm. When they Feeding listen to everything, milk, they milk, milk, milk. every day. Mm. We did not teach them, go out to the world. Yes, and preach. Yes. yes. Wow. So, now, what is the importance of this soul winning to the body of Christ? Thank you very much. Yes. This importance. I would say, I thank God for bringing me here. Mm to let people know the most important of soul because mm. most of you do not know it. Yes. Especially we men of God. Yes. Because when we say we are men of God, our majority work is to go and bring souls. Yes. The importance true. of the soul. Why can't you ask yourself that why Jesus Christ come down from his throne and died, died. Yes. for human being? You know, human being is apart, soul is apart. Mm. You no, know? soul stand and remain human being mm. by flesh. Mm. Are you with me? Let me put it in this way. I think in the world of today, mm. we all believe in God. Mm. 
we know how we look for good. Yes. We know how we look for good oil yes. to make money. That is how soul is in heaven. In heaven. Soul God is, is looking for souls. Souls. Because mm. it's very important. Precious. Because it's the precious thing that can never die. Yes. It can never decay. Mm. And for example now, on this world we love good. You don't allow your good to spoil. Yes. You be kicked out of your good. That is how soul is. To soul God. is to God. Very important. Mm. Because soul, it just when God says, let's create human beings in our own image. image. It's talking about souls. Mm. It's talking about souls. Mm. But what are we today? We, we pastors, we, we neglect soul. Mm. We allow souls to die. Yeah. Now, like I say, we open church. Yes, we are waiting for souls to, for sinner to come. Mm -mm. Those sinners, they are carrying souls. Mm. And this soul must not be because Jesus Christ knew that since these souls, when you mix heaven, mm. you can never miss hell. Mm. Mm. And the soul will be in hell. Mm. Let me tell you, can you allow your work to be destroyed in your presence? Mm. So, God is not happy hmm. for seeing so burning in hell. Yeah. Hmm. Because he knew how pressure he is. He knew what takes him yes. to bring the soul out. Yes. And, and he, then he died for, that for it. Hmm. And he brings something that can never die. Yes. And he and sees some that things burning in hell fire. Forever. Forever. Still. He doesn't like it because yes. he knew how pressure is to him. Yes. But what is happening here, we man of God, we don't, we know, don't this. know the value you of know, souls. This is a, it's a serious mm. pain, even in my heart. Good. Because, you know, uh, even pastors especially do not know this thing. They, they do not know the, 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 the importance, importance of, souls, of this yes. soul winning. And so we have, most of our congregations, truth be told, are just recycling members. Bass, we good. move from this church to this church, after two years from this church to this church. They are the unconverted sinners. Yes. They are people of the other religion. They are people who are pagans, who are worshipping the devil. Yes. Who are the people who are really going out to evangelize? You know, when you go to some of these sophisticated churches, the sad truth is that they are no evangelism teams. That is just the truth. You yes. have publicity, you have media department yes. and all of that. But you do not have people who actually, you know those days when we go out on the street and do evangelism one-on-one -on -one. when you go to the beer parlor mm. you go to the hotel yes. you know there's there's what we call early hour uh, early hour rush, rush. Yes, yes. very early in the morning around five six those times when those girls are coming Always out of the hotel, hotel you just go and, and block them somewhere and that point when you talk to them they are remorseful and they give their life to christ, christ. you know churches no longer have these packages yes. and so we find our youths wasting on the streets and on do you know on sundays these same people who go to clubhouses, who go to hotels, yes. they come back to church. Yeah, right. And they come and dance these dance the steps dance in the, the church. church. And I'm wondering, this, our congregation, are we going to make heaven? Yes. Where are we going to? Going to. Really, because where are we going to? Yes. And you know, we, you know, pastors are even learning these dance steps. Mm -hmm. Pastors are, 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 are now embracing the world you know yeah. instead of the church to be taken to the world the world, world is, is now being brought to the church yes and it's it's a serious pain let me know? come to what you just say now mm. that are we going to make can we make it this generation mm. yes we can make it mm. if we do the right thing mm. i would mean mm. what writing are we going to do look at devil we are talking devil lucifer mm. ask yourself why lucifer is here disturbing us. Lucifer has no right to drag anything with us on earth hmm. because his own throne is in heaven. Hmm. He has missed it. Why is he coming here? Hmm. If you trace the, by the scripture, you will discover that there was a quarrel that started from God to uh, Lucifer, started from human being, hmm. Adam and Eve, they yes. from there. Then, devil was drafted down. Hmm. We would think that devil will allow any soul to, to enter heaven. It will not allow because that's what is called it's out of jealous. Yes. But now what that powerful me moves is that he has stopped using I mean members again. He's yes. using we pastors. Hmm. What happened? Domination. Hmm. I'm a redeemer. Yes. I'm a winners. Hmm. I'm a Anglican. Hmm. I'm a Catholic. Hmm. I'm a Kearnese. Hmm. You know, domination. There's no unice yes, anymore. Unity. Mm. No unity anymore. Mm. So everybody is doing anything. So he has the, the, the way, the, he has to have, have a way to yes. enter the church. Yes. Mm. Are you with me now? Mm. Then what is happening? 
music, that's another thing. Yes. Like what you just said now. Mm. Look at, you saw a pastor dancing step with the word. Yes. You, you and they say there's nothing wrong there's with it, that he's doing it you for Jesus. See, you say our lady, mm. they are coming back from club on Friday. Mm. They will put and their clothes. Saturday morning, they, they go will, to rehearsal. They will, they, will, they will put their cloth and hang it. Mm. On Sunday, the same cloth, they will put they it will on. Again to church. To church. Mm. So, back to your question. We will make heaven if, if we, we man of God, do what is right. Mm. Some people love their man of God. They didn't love God. Mm. So if we pastors stand up and go back to our first love, mm. we will make heaven. Mm. Well, the Matthew from chapter 28 from uh, 18 to 20 says, yes. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, mm. All power is given unto me unto in heaven me and, and earth. earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations. This was the, the great commission to the mm. disciples, teach, yes. the pastors, the apostles, mm. the prophets, the evangelists. Mm. This was the great, this was the only commission given. Go ye therefore and Teach all nations, baptizing them in the name oh, of the, the Father, Father and of the Son and of the and Holy, Holy Ghost. Spirit, yes. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And you know, we are complaining that we cannot find the manifestation of the Spirit in the church. We cannot find the power of God. We cannot heal the sea. We cannot raise the dead. But the prerequisite for God being with us always is that we are we are fulfilling the great commission yes. and i remember in bible school our rector will say when you go out you see the power of god, god. out there you will not find the power of god here yes. in the go out when you go out when there's a need for someone to be healed and you lay your hands jesus we always confirm his, his words yes. with signs and wonders. Yes. Right. And now, mm. Thank you so much. Now, yes. seeing that this is a command from Jesus to do this thing, mm. this great commission, you know, we have some pastors say, or some members say, me, uh, so winning is not my thing. Evangelism mm. is not my thing. You know, I, I'm not, I've not been called to do that. You yes. know? Do you think that there's true Christianity without Evangel soul winning, soul winning and evangelism? Thank you, ma. Is it possible to be a disciple of Jesus That's and not be winning yeah. souls? Thank you, ma. When you saw, like you said, uh, evangelism is not my teens. So winning is not my teens. Mm. It's a laziness mm. that causes it. Mm. Like I said, church is nowadays nothing like evangelism anymore. Mm. What Jesus Christ said, teach them, release them. Mm. We are not, re pastors are not releasing Releasing their members. Yes. yes. They are not releasing them. Do you know why it's not releasing? He's scared mm. of releasing them, winners will snatch it. <laughs> He's scared of releasing them, redeem will snatch it. Mm. So they're not camp then. So they're no, they're not giving them wisdom, giving them the vision of to Jesus Christ to do. Mm. To go and bring the sinner. Mm. No. Mm. What happened, man? Money. Mm. So pastors of mm. today, they are not ready for soul winning. Mm. They are ready for money winning. Mm. That's what. So what is going to come in your pocket, that's what they need. Mm. They don't want to send them out again. Mm. No, we're sending them out, they are scared of mm. now losing the member to another mm. past by pastors. Mm. Are you with me? That is what is happening. If we pastor teach them, mm. this is what Jesus Christ say. When you yes. teach them, you need to send them out. out to win souls. To win souls. All right, now tell us, how do you feel that we as pastors, ministers, as the body of Christ, how do you feel like we can encourage our youth to go all out for Jesus? Thank you very much, ma. You know, the scriptures say, who winning is so is the wise. It's wise. It's, yes. Before we can tell our youth, we have to start, let them know what is happening in the Bible. Mm. We have to let them to know why Jesus Christ is on earth. Mm. We have to let them know why Jesus Christ died mm. for us. Mm. We have to let them know. Then we have to let them know, when we teach, like I say, you send them out. Mm. You let them know what they are going to preach. Mm. Because let me tell you something. Some pastors now, they are not teaching Bibles mm. again. They are teaching from their own Philosophy. wisdom. Mm. They are teaching for what they will gain. Mm. They are teaching for what that they will clap for them. Mm. No more truth. So, you will see our youth now. Mm. They, know, they can't even stay in the midst of people and preach anymore. Mm. No. And before they are doing it, mm. But since the pastors in the church are not hitting in their brain, huh. preach. In the church, after you leave your church, in your school, break time, preach. preach. Hmm. Even in the car, preach. preach. When you see people, your friend, old friend, why are you everything? The next day, ending up with preach. Preach, preach Jesus. Preach, preach Jesus. Preach, preach Jesus. Jesus. You hmm. will see, if their pastor is telling them, hmm. you know, I love my pastor. Hmm. They don't love my God. Hmm. 
If you love your pastor, good. I'm not saying don't love your pastor. Okay. Yes, if you love your pastor, you do what your pastor is saying. Are you with me? Yeah. Then from there, there we know that my pastor has been telling us this. About God. About God. Let me do it. But do you know what? Some pastor will say, don't, don't mind the way, the way I behave. Just listen to what I'm telling you. <laughs> Yes, you tell me? Yes. If a man will go and tell you, don't mind the way I behave, just mm. listen to what I'm telling you, then something is wrong. Yes. That something is wrong. That is not strong. So mm. how can the youth under him mm. preach Jesus? Mm. When his own life is when not his straight. Life is not straight. Can you yeah. be, our youth today, they are ashamed of preaching. Very ashamed. You will not see them carrying Bible again. Mm. What are they carrying? His iPad. Yes. So they are carrying. They are ashamed of carrying. Associating with the gospel. The gospel. Hmm. And this is the power of God. The power of this God. This is the power. Bible says, Paul says, I am not ashamed Shame. of the gospel. This is the power, power of, of God. God. Unto deliverance. This is the only way for this deliverance. Way. Okay, so now that you are here and you have audience, what will you say to youths? How can they begin to win uh, souls for Christ in their own little corner, in their own little, little activities? How? Yes. What? I, what I will tell you is like they should go back to Jesus Christ's life. Huh. Jesus Christ started youth and he ended it youth. Huh. They should know that he loved them. Huh. And he say, use your useful age for me. Yes. And they will prosper. Huh. They should not be ashamed of preaching Jesus. Huh. They should not be scared that what these people will talk, tell, tell me what my friend will say about me huh. because in the end of the day when rapture will take place your friend cannot will save not be you dear. Hmm. Will not be dear hmm. what people will say about me will not be dear hmm. be bold hmm. to preach jesus yeah. and run away for things of sin hmm. because if you are holding things of sin it's very difficult for our youth to preach, preach. and again in home our parents too hmm. mommy and daddy too encourage, encourage them because charity begins at home. Yes. Now, sir, if, just imagine a world where everybody, every Christian has gone all out for evangelism, is radically preaching yes. the gospel, yes. what will happen? What do you think the world will be like? Wow. Thank you very much for this question. Mm. I believe some churches in Abuja, mm. we can count 13,000 members. Mm. 5,000 member, mm. 16,000 member, mm. if all of us go out, go out mm. the devil will see us and run. Mm -hmm. It can't stay. Yes. It can never stay. Mm. Even our brothers that did not love Jesus Christ, mm. they will turn back immediately. Yes, so what is happening here? Yes. The coven of that we shake. Mm. They will tremble mm. because the kind of Holy Spirit that will come out. Yes. Do you imagine when redeem um, winners, citadels, or all of the and everybody's together, out. everybody is out and preach? Mm. Wow! Mm. Even the heaven will happy. Mm. The power of devil will reduce immediately. Mm. If we can do that, in fact, wow. it will so very Jesus Christ will, uh, will, be happy. will be happy. Hallelujah. You know, everybody's singing, heal the world, make it a better place, live and let live, let love, let love lead, and so on and so forth. And we are trying to develop human schemes to provide human solutions mm -hmm. by which we feel the world will become a better place. Mm -hmm. Well, I have bad news and good news. You know, the bad news is that it will never work. And that's because man can never become wiser than his creator. Yes. Good news is that the creator who is love himself has provided a solution from the foundations of the world. Even before man fell, Bible says from the foundation of the world, the lamb was slain. Sleep. Talking about the Messiah, there is only one way out for us. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only truth. Yes. Jesus is the only life. Yes. Bible says for God so loved the world that he I've gave his only begotten son. son, that whosoever, whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. And that he that believes not is condemned already because he believed not in the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation, that light is coming to the world. But men love the darkness rather than light, light. because their works were evil and of darkness. Yes. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only solution for all of the killings, all of the kidnappings, all of the inhumanity of man to man, all of the rape, all of the homicide, all of the genocide, all of the suicide, Islamic terrorist attack, Islamization. It is high time we began to share the gospel of Christ as radically as possible. 
everywhere we find ourselves because Christ is the only solution for the world, now and forever. There is no other name given that we might be saved, only the name of Jesus. Jesus. It is only to the authority and the power of Christ that all other powers that has confronted us as humans we bow. Only to his lordship will they surrender because he defeated them already on Calvary Street. As youth, let us, not be let us not be shy. I mean, in schools, in social gatherings, share the gospel. Friends even come to, you know, friends can even come together and pick a day and location and decide to go for soul winning. Yes. It is fun, it is adventurous, it is rewarding, and it has internal value. What do you use your Facebook space and other social media space to do? What could be more fulfilling than sharing the gospel of Christ? using those beautiful headlines and platforms we have instead of sharing videos and pictures that cannot move a man one inch forward why not share the internal life with a friend who has not met jesus and is wallowing in darkness and in danger of internal doom all that we need for life and true happiness is found only in the christ the devil has no regard for grammar, for aesthetics, for swags, or beauty, or even intelligence. Without Christ, Jesus is the only solution because in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. That means Christ is the compendium of the fullness of love, of wisdom, and power of God. The challenge is that there are only few believers who are willing to pay the price and manifest the fullness of the love and power and wisdom of God to our world today. And that's the reason for all of the crises that we have in the world today. God is looking for those who will surrender their all and say, Lord, here am I. Send me. Use me just the way I am. I tell you, friends, he will make them a living wonder in the face of the earth. There will be no killings and wickedness and so much hate and discrimination and segregation if all we have tasted of if all of us have tasted of the power and the love of god imagine that an intercessor had travailed for that terrorist and another brother who was born in for christ had evangelized to him and in his very presence he saw the power of god and the dead being raised by a sister filled with the holy ghost there would have been no shekau there would have been no Boko Haram. Our youths would not be wasting away, loitering in the streets, looking for what is not missing. Our girls would not be sex hawkers because we would all be burning for Jesus. Every man is a lighted torch, burning for one thing or the other. What are you burning for? Is it for the loss of the flesh, for food, or are you burning for Jesus? The challenge is we are all busy for our selfish interests. But this is a call to those who are willing to make a change, who are willing to obey the last command of Christ, which is the Great Commission. Let the armies of the living God arise and take their place in the body of Christ. Let the intercessors begin to pray. Let the wailers and the watchers take their place. Let the miracle working, the miracle workers, those endowed with the gift of miracles, develop stamina to perform miracles in the authority of Christ instead of being distracted by things of this world that are vain and can never ever satisfy let our parents begin to practice godly parenting in the fear of god then and only then will our homes be filled with gladness and our streets filled with joy then and only then will our sons be as plants grown up in the in their youth and our daughters as cornerstones polished after the similitude of a palace it is only by jesus that our oxen will be strong to labor and there will be no breaking in or out. And there will be no complaining in our streets. Happy is that people. Happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is Yahweh. If Yahweh is your God, people will see it in your lifestyle and in your conduct. And they will come to you to show them the way. And then you will lead them to Christ. Because he is the only way out of all of man's created problems. Brothers and sisters, the horse may be made ready for the day of battle, but only Jesus can guarantee the safety and happiness and fulfillment that you want to achieve. It is your responsibility. It is my responsibility. It is our responsibility to heal the world with the gospel of the third day. Our testimony is the testimony of the third day. That without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. He was bruised for us. Surely he had borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. 
yet we did esteem him a man smitten of God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. We like sheep had gone astray. We had turned every one to his own way, and the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. And finally he took our place. He was sacrificed. He was crucified for us. And on the third day he rose again. Hallelujah. This is our testimony. And this testimony is the weapon by which we overcome the wicked one. This testimony is the power of God. We cannot be ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power of God unto deliverance, unto salvation. From darkness and obscurity into the light and certainty of God. Don't be ashamed to proclaim the goodness of salvation. For it is the only channel through which the Father has poured out his power and his fullness as solution to all of man's problems. The greatest impact you can make in your lifetime is to reconcile a soul back to God, both in word and in lifestyle. We have been called into the ministry of reconciliation. How beautiful upon the mountains at the feet of him that publish peace, that bring good tidings of good, that publish salvation, that said unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. The Lord gave the word, great was the company of those that published it. And just in case you have not received Jesus, this is a good place to start. It doesn't cost anything and you have everything to gain. Just say this simple prayer as you secure your internal destiny in Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for the gift of internal life that you freely made available through your death and your resurrection. To all those that come to you, believing in their hearts and confessing with their mouths that you lived, that you died and resurrected in the flesh just so that we can have life eternal. I believe that you are the Son of God. I accept you in my heart as my personal Lord and Savior. I receive you. I receive your forgiveness and remission of sin by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Prophet, please, I want you to give a short word of encouragement and advice to those people who have just said this prayer and just receive Christ in their heart. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I would say it, congratulations to those people that just give your life to Christ. You receive Christ in life. You make a the right decision, a beautiful decision, a step that the devil can no longer torment you again. A step that make your name to write in the book of life. A step that no any hindrances can come to you again. I would just be saying you, keep it on. Study your Bible. Go to church. The church that carries fire, that preach the word of God, deviate away with things of the word and look for things of spirit and betting you. At the end of the day, when rapture will take place, your name will be in heaven. You will not be in hell in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Congratulations once time. Amen. I'm happy. Thank you so much, so, Prophet, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. We are grateful that you have come to give us insight on soul winning. And uh, God bless you and increase you Amen. in Jesus' name. You too. Amen. All right, we'll quickly take a break. And when we come back, we'll be meeting our artist for the week. Don't touch it. Worthy by design. On this show, we focus on the journey from girlhood to womanhood and everything in between. Worthy by design. You're welcome back, and in case you're just joining us, this is the Youth Arena Show, and this is the Artist for the Week segment. Our Artist for the Week is a music minister. He's Ibira by tribe and a graduate of Kaduna Polytechnic. He is anointed with a mandate to preach the gospel and bring deliverance to the heart of men through singing. And he is single. Can we meet you, please? Yes. I am Minister Divine Matthew, okay. a Kaduna-based gospel music artist. Okay. 
you know, and just like you said, I'm a graduate from Cardinal Polytechnic, Federal okay. Polytechnic to be precise. I study leisure and tourism management. Okay. Yeah. So you teach people how to enjoy themselves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. All right. So leisure and tourism management, and you're now a music minister. How did music begin for you? Yeah, I began music at a very tender age. Okay. I was in the church band. Okay. You know, but after some couple of years, I discovered that I wasn't just there to look up the numbers. I'm actually called into this ministry. Okay. Yeah, and then I found that singing is an easy way for me to praise God. I do it all the time. You don't pray on the street, walking and praying, you know, most mm. of the time. But singing, you can do it even while yes. walking. I found that it was just something in me. I don't struggle to do it. Mm. And then in 2013, after I came across a book written by Mike Moro, Maximizing Your Potential, and then I realized that it's time for me to maximize that which God had put inside of me. And then I began the music ministry that same 2013. We started with a meeting that is tag, uh, the tour of worship, okay. the tour of worship and others. <clears throat> been since 2013 wow. to date. So that's like yeah. seven years old? Yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Okay, so you definitely had an encounter with Jesus, which which uh, propagated all of this you are saying. Could you tell us how you met the Lord? Yeah, I met the Lord in the year 2005. Okay. It was on a Sunday service. So while the sermon was going on, the message came to me like I've never Differently. seen any message. Mm. Before I said that was the first time I was hearing someone preach mm. to me, and then I was convicted and I saw the need to. I realized that the, the, there was a vacuum in me that I tried mm. to be filled by Jesus mm. because I realized without Him I cannot fulfill my destiny. Mm. So, and I looked to the altar call, mm. I walked towards the eyes, and I made the sinner's confession. Mm. Today I'm saved. Hallelujah. How have your experiences been? Yeah. Since then, since then, my experience have been glorious. It is oh. the best place to be is to be with Christ. Oh. My experience have been glorious. Beautiful. Have been glorious. You have peace. You have peace. Yes, you have contentment. No matter yes. what, you are contented. Yes, it's an assurance. Wow. Bible says, "My peace I give unto you, and no man can take it away from you. No situation, no, no, no amount of trial or persecution can take that peace away." You know. And that's the confidence that we have in Jesus. All right, so do you have singles or an album? And how do people assess them? Yes, I have singles. Okay. Um, I have singles, which they are already they are already done. But currently, I don't think we can assess it. Because I have a plan of releasing them fully from now until December. Okay. None of them have been on any social platform okay yeah because i have a plan and we're praying towards it we're trusting god that from now the next three months we'll have two of my singles released. okay so we'll just yeah. hope that when it comes out yeah. we'll, we'll get to but, hear you yeah. again and get the link yeah but who can maybe follow me up through facebook okay yes by my username is divine matthew okay divine matthew yes and it's also connected to my uh my instagram okay yes divine matthew okay divine on instagram. all right so what are you currently working on yeah, currently I'm working on I'm working on two songs currently. Okay. Yes, I'm working on um, You Are Greater. Okay. And then the other one, You Are Enthroned. Wow, that's yeah. beautiful. You Are Greater and You Are Enthroned. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, can you do one of your songs for us? Yeah, nice. Okay. All right. We have uh, David B in the studio. He's going to be playing the keyboard for us. Thank you for joining us, David B. Thank you, man. It's beautiful to have you. Yes. Such a subtle around still could find nobody. No one 
is greater than you. Hallelujah. Come say, no one is greater than you. No one is greater than you, Lord. No one is greater than you. As such is such, as such is such all around. Still can find nobody. No one is greater than you. Nobody's powerful than you, Lord. No one is powerful than you. Nobody's powerful than you. No one is powerful than you. I search and search, I search and search all around. Still can find nobody. No one is powerful than you. Nobody's stronger than you. No one is stronger than you. Nobody's stronger than you, Lord. No one is stronger than you. I search and search, I search and search all around. Still can find nobody. No one is stronger than you. All creation we bow before your throne. Yeah. You the God of all the universe, nobody like you. Hallelujah. No one on earth deserves the praise we bring. For you are mighty, you so mighty. Yeah. All creation we bow before your throne. Hallelujah. Yeah. You the God of all the universe, nobody like you, yeah. No one on earth deserves the praise we bring. For you are mighty, you so mighty. Oh, no one is greater than you, yeah. To nobody great, no one is greater than you. Nobody's greater than you. No one is greater than you. I search and search, I search and search all around. Still could have found, still can find nobody. No one is greater than you. Nobody's greater than you. No one is greater than you. Nobody's greater than you, Lord. No one is greater than you. Cause I search and search, I search and search all around. Still can find nobody. Still can find nobody. No one is greater. No one is greater than you. Say nobody's stronger than you. No one is stronger than you. Nobody's stronger than you, Lord. No one is stronger than you. Cause I search and search. I search and search all around, still can find, still can find nobody. No one is stronger than you. Yeah. I search and search all around, still can find nobody. No one is stronger than you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. That was divine, just as your name is. Thank you so much for coming. And we hope that your song comes out from glory to glory. And uh, hope to have you some, of the, some other time when your song is ready. And uh, want to have your video also. Thank you so much. All right, we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you for staying with us. God bless you. And until we meet you same time, same station next week, Keep worshipping in spirit and truth. Remember, the Father seeks such to worship Him. God bless you. Peace.